This video is brought to you by 101figurine.ro Check out 101figurine.ro to see a large assortment of action figures and statues from your favorite universes. Hello and welcome, my name is Lazar and today we're gonna take a look at King Arthas Manetil or the Lich King, whatever you want to call him. He comes from NECA and is part of their Heroes of the Storm series 2 lineup. First thing I want to do, give you guys a close up on the sculpt, on the paint tab, on every single little detail Arthas comes with. I'm gonna ask you to keep in mind that this is a $20-$25 dollar figure and for the price he definitely looks amazing. Didn't notice any paint bleed, any splotch, any issues with the sculpt, not major that is. And for the most part he is pretty accurate to the original with a couple of exceptions. Now take a look here, even the fur on the boots is nicely shadowed out so it pops a little bit more. Again, kudos to NECA for this sculpt, came out absolutely wonderful, from my point of view at least. Now he does not come alone in the box, he comes with his legendary rune blade, Frostmourne. Now if you're familiar with World of Warcraft or with Warcraft, you will be familiar with this blade. And for the most part it's a pretty accurate portrayal of the original, with one minor problem. A rune blade can't exactly be a rune blade without any actual runes. NECA didn't actually rune out the blade, which is a minor grape that still looks absolutely awesome and badass, but it could be a little bit better. It comes apart at the hilt and this is the way you're gonna put it in. Please be careful, it only goes in one way. Take a look, it's a very specific peg. So you can only equip it in his right hand, the left hand being open. I'm gonna try to do this on camera, but it's a little bit tricky. You pop the hilt in like so. Then you take a look at the actual peg, the way it lined up, you do the same for the sword and when you hear that little pop sound, okay, you're done. Don't force it because it's made out of a hard plastic and if you force it, you might break it. For the most part, it's an easy process to get it in and out. And now Arthas is wielding his legendary rune blade, Frostmourne. Epic pose indeed. Right, we should really get into articulation now for the head. Oh wait, I forgot something. First thing I want to say before we get into, into articulation, his shoulder pads are made out of this soft rubbery plastic and are attached to his back. You can also see there the way they attach the cape on both of the shoulders. So the shoulders won't get in the way of articulation. Also the same rubbery plastic can be found on his arm guard, on his knee guard, and I think on his leg guard as well. Let's check a little bit. Yes, the leg guard is made out of the same material and also the humongoid belt he comes with, made out of the same rubber-like material. Now, let's get back to articulation. For the head, side to side, pretty good range of motion, especially if you decide to tuck uh, away his hair underneath uh, the shoulder pads and you still get kind of a natural look, up and down, pretty good range of motion there. Moving on to his left arm, you get a ball hinge, pretty standard joint for an arm. Okay, you get pretty good range of motion on this one, again the shoulder pads not getting in the way. You get a swivel on the elbow, not a bicep swivel like in Tyrael's case for example, and about a 45 degree angle because the armor gets in the way. That extra fur there, again, kind of impedes the arm from going more than 45 degrees. As for the hand, it's on a ball peg. You get the swivel, not so much from side to side because again the bulky armor, the sculpt, gets in the way. Pretty much the same story on his right side, the same kind of ball peg used, uh, the uh, ball hinge used here. So pretty good range of motion. Let me just try to get this sword in a more natural position, It's it bugs me. Again the swivel on the elbow there and the 45 degree for his right hand as well. There we go, that's a much better pose. Let's see if we can get him in that ready to fight kind of like position. Come on damn you, stay, stay, there we go. Absolutely wonderful, definitely digging this sculpt. Right, moving on to his chest area, you do get a bit of an ab crunch. Okay, a pretty decent ab crunch and you do get the swivel as well. You can go 360 if that's what you want to, though I think it would be rather pointless, but you do, you can do that at the chest area as well. And not only there, also at the waist, easy 360 without any issue at all. Very good uh, articulation uh, in the chest uh, slash uh, waist area. Now we're gonna move down to his uh, right foot. Uh, the main joint for the right foot is a T-jointed ball hinge. Okay, again a pretty standard uh, joint for a uh, leg. But before we go any further, look at the tabard. Look at the cape because this is my one major gripe with the figure. Unfortunately the color is not the correct color for Artis's cape slash tabard. 
it's always been a deep marine blue like what it was advertised okay almost like a blackish kind of color i would say a deep sea blue something like that and it was advertised as being as such for example okay let me make this image a little bit bigger so you guys can see all right so it's not exactly the color it was supposed to be and for a diehard fan such as myself is a minor gripe nothing too major but i did have to point that one out now we're gonna move on to the joints in the legs. Like I said, the uh, T ball hinge there, T jointed ball hinge, pretty good range of motion. No problem at all in getting him pretty much in whatever position you may think of as long as it's not too unnatural, <laughs> let's call it like that. As far as the knee goes, you get almost a 90 degree, not a full 90. Let's see if we can get him to balance on one foot. Will you stay? Like he's slipping, like he's losing his grip and he's gonna fall back. Not a full 90, like I said, uh, about a 45 degree. You know what? Can Arthas dance the Kaza choke? That would be the answer. If you wanted the Lich King to dance the Kaza choke, let's see if we can actually do that. Okay, got it. So here you go, the Lich King dancing the Kaza choke. If you wanted to do that. Sorry, I couldn't help myself. <laughs> so again, a 45 degree at the knee. The actual foot is on a ball, uh, ball peg. Okay, so you're gonna get a bit of ankle rocking. Okay, side to side, no problem at all. Pretty good range of motion because that bulky armor hides the joint quite nicely and they went a little bit loose with it. Same uh, same story for his uh, left foot, that's the hinge. Again, very good range of motion. Armor doesn't get in the way. 45 degree for the actual knee and the swivel, of course. And the same story for the foot as well. It's on a ball hinge and you're gonna get pretty much whatever range of motion you want out of it. Let's try to get him to balance on the other leg as well, like he's trying to hit somebody as he's falling down. There you go. Easy to pose, very poseable figure, you shouldn't really have any issue at all in getting him in all the, well, let's say, normal positions. Yeah, this is a ball hinge. Again, not too loose, not too tight. Because it's too, if it's too loose, then you might have problems setting him up. And that's, well, pretty much it for Arthas, for the most part, for 95% of it, I love this figure and I'm happy I got it. There are a few gripes with it, like I mentioned before. The color is wrong uh, for the uh, tabard as well as the cape. There are no runes on the blade. Uh, and the last minor gripe would be the fact that his face is a little bit off. Now, I don't know if you can see that or not uh, too well, but on mine, the helmet was a little bit off to the side. You see, there's one side that's normal and one side that's not. Uh, hope hopefully, if you get one, it won't be like this. You can straighten out because the helmet, again, is made out of the same uh, rubbery-like plastic. I'm gonna sign off now and I'm gonna leave you with a few stills of Artas. Acest video v-a fost adus de către 101figurine.ro. Intră și tu acum pe 101figurine.ro pentru a vizualiza o multitudine de statuete și figurine din universurile tale preferate.